Okay, and we have one new quest today, Rare Refreshments. Archon, just the person I needed to talk to. Or someone else needs to talk to, rather. Uh, Moogle for Mogom is a request and asked you to, for you to personally... Should I see you around the plaza? When I inquired what for, he said it was a secret. So I'm not sure what it could be. But you'll regard oblige him regardless, won't you? Do I have to? I mean, it's a Moogle, so it's probably some kind of prank, bro. Why do you have to send me all the way to Mog Home before I can do anything, huh? Huh? Uh oh, it's in the same place as Stone's Throw. This one's meticulous, though. Okay. At least it's not a mirthful one, too. actually down in here okay so you're nearby but they're not the same place been waiting for you Koopa wanted to speak with you away from the plaza because we're repairing something special it's a surprise you see the temple knights spend night and day helping us out with the reconstruction efforts so I wanted to do something nice for them in return first I thought to show Malcolm's appreciation by playing a trick on them but as it turns out Temple Knights don't take too kindly to that sort of camaraderie. Instead, we'll give them a taste of our homemade cuisine, but we are missing some finishing touches that I wanted you to help us with as an ex exceptional craftsman. We're preparing a dish of stewed mushrooms and vegetables from the churning mists. We need containers to pour the box stew into that won't slosh around before delivery. Could you make us some, Koopo? You may not need any materials, Koopo. Fog Stew Miscellany. And just normal. No HQ needs. One. Of course, this means that tomorrow. Nope, this means tomorrow I am going to need to farm, huh? I'm about to be out of light in crystals again. Or at least very low. I'll have three left, which will make me a crane total of one Moogle craft. That's a tomorrow Archon problem. Bring what we need? Yep. Thank you very much. And now for the coup de gras. Ta da! Can you smell that heavenly aroma? But I'm a bit worried that the artisans might not take a single bite if a Moogle presented to them. We still have our reputation for trickery. How about if I have you deliver to Hilda for me, Koopo? She'll be less suspicious if it's from you. Probably a good plan. So you just come down here. Craft a couple things and go back. Well, that's easy enough. Five minutes in and out. Just a few seconds, more than five minutes. Good 
Good morning, Aka. Working hard or hardly working? Ah ha ha! Ah ha 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 ha! Wow, that smells divine. What is the occasion, if I may ask? Token of gratitude from the Moogles? What a kindly. Wait, is this safe to eat? No, no, I just you checked. This will be a refreshing break from hard biscuits, to be sure. Moogles are surprising creatures. We've been trying to adapt ourselves to their culture, but it appears they too have been thinking the same. Please tell them we have gladly accepted this token. Welcome back, Archon. Did you find out what the Moogles and Monko wanted? Ah, so they wish to surprise the Temple Knights with a sampling of Moncom cooking. I must say I thought to do the same, but I was worried that our food might would not suit their sophisticated tastes. After all, we Moogles aren't known for having a diverse diet. Even so, they seem to be satisfied with the gesture all the same. Perhaps someday I'll try be able to try a bite of the Temple Knights cooking too. I've always wanted to, Koopo. Okay, and that is Moogles. We are gonna head off and see if the Moth have anything new. Okay. It is time for another day of Moogles, and we have two new quests. The Negotiator. Okay, perfect! You're sorely in need of one with your gift for negotiation. With every passing day, we find the stones that must be moved for construction to be larger and larger. The Mogmanders are at their wit's end, Koopo. Thankfully, Wayarf has agreed to introduce us to dragons willing to help. That is, of course... If we can agree to proper payment, there is little we can offer at present, and the Mogmenders are like to be intimidated by the dragon's imposing presence. We need someone who can look him in the eye and strike a fair deal. No doubt they're at seeing us discussing terms even as we speak. Please hurry before we're up to our palms in debt, Koopo. And back to the drawing board. Did you know that the Landlord's Vault built a crafting facility at the Rookery? At least that's what the dragons have told me. What a time to be alive that must have been, Koopo. There is much to be gained by having such a place to work, which is why I've set the Mogmenders to work scouring the area for salvageable equipment. I'm sure their work would go faster with your help. As to specifically how you can assist, you'll have to speak with the Mogmenders to see what still needs fixing. Okay, so over this way, I guess. This was the closest to the two. Up. How far up? Good lord, how far up is this? Ah, like right there. I wasn't expecting Monka to send anyone. No need to worry, though. A pact has been made, and the dragons will soon be ready to work, Koopo. Except, well, they have no interest in what we had to offer. Instead, they ask for nests of sorts made of soft materials. They may rest when easy whenever they come to Zenith. I fear none of us have the skill to produce goods suitable to their high standards. I know this is sudden, but we could really use your help, Koopo. When you've crafted the offerings, take them to my assistant. Uh, da, 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 store offerings, high quality. Oh. Okay. Wasn't expecting that first use to f make it to a hundred. Uh, another one. Um. Um. Okay, it's because I was in the high quality. Um. Yeah, none of those are worth doing right now.
Okay, there's the two made. Act has been made, Mughal. If you cannot provide what is agreed upon, then we will take our leave. Oh, thank goodness. A real craftsman. The day may yet be safe, Koopo. Please tell me you have what the dragons have demanded of us. Yes, yes. I'm sure they will be most pleased. Oh, mighty dragons, I humbly offer this as payment for your services. I hope it meets your expectations. <clears throat> well done. Perhaps there is merit in working with you Moogles after all. You have honored the pact, and so you shall do the same. Our strength is yours. And back to Mogik on that one, so we will go over this way. This one must be like in there. There you are. You must be that master artisan I've heard so much about, Koopo. Welcome, welcome. Here on this very spot, or Rather down the stairs there, near those dreadful wyverns, landlords of strike skylords would descend from on high. Such transport was possible thanks to special equipment made here in the rookery. The facilities that produce this equipment have fallen into disarray from centuries of neglect, but never fear. When we finish here, they'll be as good as new, Koopo. Though, your talents would be wasted on the few tasks I have at present. Hmm. Perhaps you should speak with my fellow Mogmeter. He's conducted a rather thorough survey of the grounds and should know what it is, what is most in need of for repair. So I need to talk to someone else who's apparently like up here. Yep. Come for wor work, have you? Well, you're in luck, Kubo. I have checked every nook and cranny of the rookery, and let me tell you, I would much rather build the thing from scr whole thing from scratch than repair what the landlords left behind. At present, I'm working in a few old fabric shearing machines. Nothing but lumps of rust, if you ask me. I can try to salvage pieces for them, but I need you to fashion components for a new roller. If you're lacking materials, you don't only ask. When you finish, take what you have to my assistant. Shearing machine components. Components, just normal. Boom. That that veneration was completely unnecessary. Ta-da. Okay, let's go find the assistant. Sup? Hmm? What's that about the shearing machines? New parts! Koopa -po -po -po. You could do well to have a few more work- We could do well to have a few more workers like you around. Many thanks, friend. And that is them. We just need to head back to Mogik, turn in. Uh, if you're wondering about the count, I did do two of the Vath quests today. Uh, that were repeats. There is one new one that we'll, we'll be going back to do next. I had to spend a little bit of time farming lightning crystals, but... C'est la vie. 
The Mogmenders here tell me a certain someone's help was vital in negotiating with the dragons. Naturally, I assume they meant yours truly. Imagine my embarrassment when I remembered I'd sent you on that errand. Well done, Koopo. Really cannot thank you enough. Do you have any idea how many Moogles it would take to even to carry even one of those boulders? Neither do I. Trying to imagine it leaves me exhausted. But with the dragons handling the more strenuous labor, the Mogmenders can give more attention to detail. I dare say the monument may even turn out more marvelous than me, Koopo. Back so soon? Only the others could work with such haste. Then again, recreating equipment from a thousand years ago is no small feat. It'll be worth it in the end, though. Those fiddlies will soon be of great use in our work. I can feel it in my palm, Koopo. And of course, no lightning crystals out of them. Well, that is that. We are at 600 out of 990. Three more days. Okay, as you can probably see in the background there, I don't actually have to do this to rank up, but it is a new one, so we're going to do it. Stirring by sternutation. What to do? I know they mean no harm, but most of the dragons use our construction sites as dozing spots. Starting to slow our progress, Koopo. If they were as simple as giving them a little nudge. I hear dragons do not take kindly to those who dare disturb their sleep. Ah, but wait. What if they were to wake of their own accord? Surely they would not be angry with us then, yes? I have an idea. I want you to cry at a cloud mellow and shake it over the dragons so that they might sneeze themselves awake. It would be better to have an adventure like do you do it in case there are any mishaps, Koopo. I heard, I heard. Be sure to give you one with lots of loose flirts. It should take no more than a shake to make the fluffy fly, Koopo. Where do I have to go now? This way. Oh, only like that far. There's going to be multiple steps to it, no doubt. Uh, where are you, sleeping dragon? There you are. Wake up! Wake up! My snout. It prickles. <laughs> oh, am I in your way? Forgive me. I was unaware. I shall find another place to rest. Phew. The next one is blocking the road to the northeast. Let's go, Koopo. Something tells me I go to the northeast now. You know, maybe the directions from the game. But uh, you'd have to read those. And who does that? Wake up! So that dreadful season is upon us. Damnable snores. <laughs> Enough. I move for fair skies. That leaves one more to awaken. Our last stop is the Rookery, Koopo. That's fine. It this way. There you are. Wakey, wakey. Wait, wait, where am I? I must have. What a curious dream I had. Pity it had to end so abruptly. No matter. I shall take wing and think on its meaning. Is that dragon snot on your fur? Ew. One of the unexpected hazards of ex accepting this job, I suppose. Ugh, I'll have to go and clean this off. Anyway, many thanks for your help, Koopo. And now I'll return to Mogik for... I guess a little bit of gold and some Koopo nuts and... Oh, that's a good reason to do it, actually. Okay. Lightning crystals. Very helpful. Uh, 
Uh, we are maxed out on Moogles, maxed out on Vanu. So after this, gonna see if any of the Voth are new. Otherwise, I only have to do one today. It let me off. Oh, thank goodness. I was beginning to worry they would never wake up, Kubo. Dragons are prone to sleeping much, prone to sleeping much longer than you or I. Had we left those dragons be, who knows how long they might have slept. They could have delayed our work for moons, Koopo. I do feel a little guilty for disturbing their naps, but it was for the greater good. I'm sure they would understand. And now it's time to get back to work, Koopo. Yeah, I know, I'm not getting any rub. Okay, that's that, and I'm gonna go and see if the Voth have anything to report. 